Hello everybody, welcome back to Black Phoenix Entertainment. Let's do something that I haven't done in forever. Let's do a Q&A. So, let's go down in the comments and you guys ask me questions that you want me to answer in a later video. That would be really cool. I was thinking to myself, I was sitting, I'm like, and I've had some questions that people have been asking me. I'm like, you know what? I should just do a whole video on this because um, I think it would be interesting. And I'm really interested into hearing what you guys have questions for me. You know, is it about the spider? Is it about the channel? Is it about IT? Because I do IT stuff. You know, whatever you want to think of or any sort of question or anything like that that you want to ask, go ahead and ask it. Uh, Mini Phoenix, Mama Phoenix, if you have questions for them, you know, how they feel about YouTube and the channel or how they feel about riding on a spider with me, that's cool too. And if for whatever reason you want to remain anonymous or whatever, um, you don't have to leave a comment. You can find me on social media. You know, if you don't want everyone to know your question, uh, message me on Instagram or you can email me. All my info is down in the description. You guys can find it. So, with that being said, let's do a little preview because, like I said, I've had people ask me some questions, so I'm going to get into it. So, as you can tell by the title, what am I going to get into? I'm going to get into a question that I have been asked multiple times by multiple different people, and that is about Can-Am on road and the ambassadorship that they had I given out. And basically, they've asked why I'm not one and why my name isn't on their list. Um, not sure if this is a question I can 100% answer. Um, that might be a question for Can-Am themselves, but I can give you my thoughts and my opinion on the subject. So, first and foremost, I'm not mad. I'm not angry at Can-Am or anything or any of the whole ambassadors or anything like that, just to throw that out there. I um, looked at their whole list. I kind of saw you know, who was starting to be um, announced as ambassadors and all that. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And honestly, I talked to some of them. You guys are awesome. There's, like I said, I have nothing against any of the other ambassadors. So, you know, as um, Can-Am was allowing these um, other motor vloggers, YouTubers, and people to announce that they were ambassadors, I was, I was keeping an eye on it. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, good for them. You know, that's awesome. I'm, you know, happy for them, all that stuff, because, you know, some of these are well-deserved. And I noticed a trend, and I was talking to Mama Phoenix about it, because she kind of noticed we had uh, mentioned that, like, hey, they're doing this thing, you know. Are they going to pick me? I don't know. You know, that type of th that type of conversation. And I was just like, no, you know what? I'm noticing a trend in it, and I don't, my honest opinion of what I think, I don't think I'm their guy for this round of marketing that they're doing. So as I was, like I said, I was just kind of watching the trend, and I'm like, you know what? It's can Am's pushing the Riker hard, and I started noticing a Predominantly, a lot of the ambassadors are Riker riders, which makes total sense. If I was can I'd probably, you know, want to be like, hey, I want so many people to be Riker riders. Makes sense to me. Makes sense for your marketing and if you're trying to push out a, a newer-ish, you know, product like that. And they do have spider riders too, but, you know, I think the other thing with that too is I am riding an older spider. They don't make the RS anymore. So I think from, again, if you look, if you're thinking from a business marketing standpoint, like what is this guy with an older spider going to do for us? Again, just throwing that out there. That's just what I think that they're thinking. And I could be totally wrong. It could just be that maybe my channel's too small. You know, I just recently hit a thousand subscribers. So maybe that was one of the things they were looking for a certain size channel, anything like that. I don't know. Like I said, I am not able to 100% answer that question for those of you who had asked me that but and again not mad not whatever it is what it is it's not like this was a one-shot deal maybe down the road me and Kenny Am can do something together that would be cool as always I always say I'm always open to things like that and we have had a little back and forth with comments and stuff on Instagram and things like that so they know of me I obviously know of them so you know door is always open so there you go. I hope that um, hope that's somewhat of an answer for you guys who um, uh, emailed me and messaged me and uh, stuff like that with that question. So there you go. There's a preview of the type of questions you can ask me. 
Um, again, go down in the comments. You can message me on Instagram, Facebook, any of the social medias I have. Uh, my email address is down there um, and down in the uh, description. You can check that out. And uh, while you're down there, for you guys, I've got some cool uh, discount codes for Lunified. Go and check that out. You get some money off on uh, a lot of their products there. So that's really cool of them. I definitely appreciate uh, the uh, partnership I have with them. And also, if you're viewing this and you're not subscribed, I am wondering why. Because it is totally free. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that right little red button, ring that bell so you can get notified of all the cool videos that I put out. Now, with all of that being said, it is now ending the near end. Ending. End. I misshifted, so it totally screwed me up. Yeah, that's embarrassing, misshifting on a semi-automatic. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I must now bid you adieu because it is still season two. So goodbye and good night.